Hey everybody, Caitlin with Glitter Chimp coming to you from my craft room to do another segment of crafting with COVID. And as you can tell, I feel better, I sound better, at least I think I sound better. But today, we're going to be doing something different as usual. We're going to be doing a marble, a faux marble tray. Um, this tray is mine. Um, I made this honestly about a year ago. And this tray actually sits in my bathroom. It holds all of my skincare products, makeup, all that kind of stuff. Um, but just a nice little tray that I use. Hi, Michael. Hello. Sorry, guys. Working from home. Um, anyways, so this is a tray we're going to do today. I don't have this exact black tray. But at Hobby Lobby, I did find this solid white one, which will work just as good already got a white bottom to it so I don't have to worry about base painting base coating anything so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this the colors I'm gonna be using today are a mix of fog and mother of pearl we're gonna be using graphite today charcoal mixed with some Texas oil in the coarse cut that way I get a little bit of a green sparkle and then silver bullet which was from our advent calendar and this is going to be a lot of fun because I haven't gotten to use it in this sort of making before with the making of the faux marble but we're going to go with it today and give a little extra depth to this design so i'm going to go and get the camera turned down we're going to get started and make a faux marble tray okay you guys so this is again what we're going to try to be doing and recreating. Um, this was my first attempt at doing the faux marble, so don't judge too harshly on this. Um, but this was just a black tray that I bought at, actually it says at the at home store, and I bought this like two years ago. Um, but anyway, so this is actually, I made this about a year ago. It's been sitting in my bathroom. It holds all my makeup and face stuff. Um, so we're going to go for this again. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And so with this, I have this tray. This one I did buy at Hobby Lobby. It was $20 and I've had it for probably six or seven months. Who knows? It's just been sitting at my house collecting dust for who knows how long. Um, so what we're going to do is, um, basically fill the base of this with epoxy and I'm using glitter for the bottom in white. Now, if you're going to be buying trays to do something like this, you want to make sure that the it is sealed on the inside edges. Otherwise, the resin will start to pour out the bottom. Um, this one is actually sealed. Oops, sorry, guys. Really, it's already sealed with the paint, so I don't have to worry about doing anything. But you can always check here at the bottom and I know it looks like there's like holes here, but again, it's sealed with paint. Um, so I don't have to worry about sealing it. Otherwise, I'll make sure you check this. And if it looks like it has holes in the bottom, which actually, hang on, I have a tray to show you. Oops, sorry. Told you guys, I have a ton of stuff in here. This is a tray I also got at Hobby Lobby around the same time I bought this one. And it actually is missing two screws. So that's fun. Um, but anyways, as you can see, there is light that shows through on this edge. To do a tray like this, you would have to obviously prime this to be white, um, unless you wanna do a black or something different. But you would just follow on this edge here with some silicone. You can even use hot glue. That way it seals it so you don't have epoxy leaking out from the bottom of it. That was loud. So let's get started. Okay, I have resin right here and a lot of it because it's gonna take a lot to fill this whole bottom um you don't have to worry about this being like super tall and thick you just need a nice thin layer so i have right here mixed up what do we got six ounces of epoxy and i'm going for a marble look so i kind of want it to be somewhat authentic looking as best i can so i'm going to be using fog mother of pearl and then i realized I have quartz 
and I want to use quartz because it's got it's gonna look like it has bigger rocks in it um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of quartz too but otherwise these are my two favorite whites to use if I can get the seal off this one Jesus all right so mother of pearl there we go I have no idea how much that is and then fog I'm gonna mix that up in here and I'm not gonna add any ink or anything to this because the board's already white so it won't need to be added you can though if you want so that's really pretty like I said I want to add some quartz to it so it's got a little bit more chunk to it I guess is the not too much though just enough all right get that nice and mixed in there so oh yeah that's so here I'm gonna kind of show it a little better in there so this is really mixed up real well I'm gonna set that in the tray because I can and I need space so and I've got my three little cups here of epoxy to do the the lines I need more sticks more sticks all right so I have graphite charcoal and silver bullet um, silver bullet will be available on the website soon um, it's one of the colors from the advent calendar but it's just a gorgeous silver mica and then um, with charcoal I'm gonna mix some Texas oil in there so it kind of has more of a crystally look so let's do this all right I'm gonna start with silver bullet Woo. all right there we go yeah it is silver all right I'm gonna go ahead and just do two little scooperinis and this of course by the way is the size that came in the advent calendar this is not our normal size jars oh my goodness I love this when it mixes in epoxy because it just looks like liquid silver I love how that looks so it looks like molten silver just perfect all right graphite come on now I always move everything out of the way it just I seem like I always get everything in my way all right so we're gonna mix up some graphite now which is a more of a pewter dark dark gray make sure I don't have any lumps of any kind in there so that is graphite and then charcoal which is going to get all over my hands because it always does. I'm going to do like a half because I'm going to add Texas oil to it. And again, so for those of you who haven't seen maybe our other videos, charcoal is a nice jet black, but it has a nice pearl to it. Not, it doesn't make it too like gray or anything but it's just got a really nice pearlescent look to it when it's mixed I mean that stuff is like tar black with a pearl look and then I'm gonna add a little bit of Texas oil like I said I want it to have a little breakup to it and plus Texas oil in the course cut has it almost green like really 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 dark green and this is just so that whenever it pours out what will end up happening is the Texas oil will shine through and kind of just give it like a bit of a green undertone I'm gonna add actually just a touch more this will be what gives it kind of more of a natural stone look even though this is not gonna be natural stone 
There we go. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Beautiful. Okay, let's pour. So I'm gonna pull this back down. There you go, nice and centered for your viewing pleasure. Okay, and now we just pour. And I am going to pour the entire thing of epoxy in here. Because again, you don't have to have this be super, super thick. Because you don't want the tray to end up being too heavy. But because this will actually spread out really nicely. Get every little drop. And um, I've done this on bigger projects before. For example, um, Keely, we actually did her entire fireplace top um, <laughs> for her house. And it turned out awesome. And as soon as she redoes her kitchen, guess what? I'm going to be doing that to her kitchen. We're going to do something different to it, but that's the plan. All right, so I'm going to use my little trowel here and spread this across the entire bottom of this tray. Getting it in every single corner possible. It's like making a weird peanut butter sandwich. And by the way, for those of you who are wondering, on the COVID front, everyone in the house is nice getting healthy. Olivia will be able to go back to school on following Monday. And she is so excited about going back to school. I was never that kid. <laughs> okay. Continue to spread it around. You can, of course, pick the tray up and tilt it back and forth, but... I'm terrified of spilling because I'm a klutz. So I'm just going to spread it like this. And you can do this, by the way, and just leave the tray as a solid color if you wanted to of, you know, glitter or mica, alcohol inks. Whatever you feel is your favorite color, you can do. The best inspiration I've ever found though with doing this marble look is I Google marble countertops and kind of like pick and choose and kind of get it inspired by the real thing. God, this is like right in like my bad place. Here we go. Okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Told you guys, it's like making a weird peanut butter sandwich. Okay, so now, just kind of spread it out more so it's a little bit more even, because I kind of stole a little too much from over here. All right. There we go. Oh, just that right there is gorgeous. So pretty. All right, I'm gonna make sure to get off the little bit that's left on the trowel. Don't want to waste any epoxy. All right. So we have our white base here. Just gonna move it back and forth a little bit. Kind of like, you know, putting brownies in the pan, get flatten them out. Okay, so we're done. I'm just kidding. We're not done. So now we're going to use our three darker colors here. And you can do this two ways. You can either just pour yourself or use the popsicle stick. I prefer popsicle stick for this. And I'm gonna start with the black. Yeah, I'm gonna start with charcoal and Texas oil mixed. You're literally just going to put lines across this as kind of like weird little lightning bolts, I guess you will say. Um, but you don't wanna go too heavy with this color first. You kinda just wanna do like three or four little lines, come back and you'll hit it with the heat gun and then we'll switch to the next color. 
So we're gonna do exactly that first. And again, in nature, there's no right or wrong, so let's just go for it. And don't worry about little drips or anything like that. You're just making art. This is just the veining in the marble. Try to get up to that corner as best I can. All right, boom, black. All right, now you're gonna hit this with the heat gun and do just like we've done with the other projects that we've done this week, where you're fanning this out, spreading it out. You can make it as thin as you want or as thick as you want, but you can always go back and add later. So just go to town, guys. So I'm gonna turn the volume down on the video and use the heat gun to span this out and turn it off, get to the next color. That is our first layer of veining. You can see now that the Texas oil glitter kind of spread out a little bit, so it makes it more, look like you have a bit more stones, like little sparkly stones in there. So now I'm gonna go in with, this is graphite, and do lines other places. I'm gonna try to kind of get around the, I don't know. We're just gonna kind of sling it around, see what happens, I guess. That's the best way to put it but you don't have to follow any set rules here on how this is done. This is just something I've always liked doing. They're fun to play, you know, do projects you're not normally used to doing. It's kind of nice to get out of your comfort zone a bit. All right, so now we're gonna hit this with the heat gun again. Move this out of the way. So this is why I love this project. As you're heating the epoxy, the white glitter from the bottom will actually start to come up and land on top of the black and the gray lines. So it creates more depth for you because it literally takes the mica powder and sinks it so it's in between. So it makes it look a lot more natural. So now I'm gonna go in with this silver because, ooh, it's gonna look so pretty. Um, I'm gonna run the silver up right through here, but I'm gonna try to get it kind of along this black line here and just kind of, yeah, we're gonna see. I kind of want to make it run right around this. Make that one a little thicker. All right, let's heat that up. Oop, okay. Hmm, I'm loving how this looks. Okay. So I'm gonna go back in here with some more of the black and I want, yeah, I want more black. Definitely more black. So try to see how close I can get to this line here.
hit that with the heat gun. I need to get some of the dark gray right around in here. And then I have to stand up because I need to see it from above. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the dark gray. Actually, get mm, wrong color. Add some of that silver. Okay. I'm gonna add. This is when I start to have a hard time because it's that. When do you stop point? And I'm getting close to that point, so I'm just trying to fill in a little bit here. I think I might add just a couple more dark black lines and then I'll be done. All right, and that's it. Um, the best thing is with this one is know when to stop and I've hit that point. So I want to keep it where there's still quite a bit of the white showing through, still has that nice veiny look to it. And you get these extra nice pops of color with the silver popping through and the dark gray mixing in there. So it looks more natural and obviously it's not natural, but it's a nice way to give a tray a really nice faux uh, marble look um so that is this tray all finished now this will cure once this is done of course i'll come back and show you guys the final product um so we will be back in a couple of hours to show you guys the final product all right guys this is all nice and cured and ready to go i love how it turned out i wish i had gone a little less on the gray but at the same time, I really like it. It'll be great for me to put, I don't even know what in candles or something. I can use this on my coffee table in the house. Um, I also just may take it to the office and use it at the office. I have no idea. Um, it was just fun to make. I'm really glad I went with this tray. Um, I've told, I mean, I've got behind me is the one that, this is the one that's in my bathroom that holds all of my makeup and stuff. Um, so just the black goes better with my bathroom. But um, so there it is, guys, all finished, ready to go and get used for putting whatever I feel like in it. Um, so I'm really excited with how it turned out. Again, I wish I'd gone a little less on the gray, but otherwise, come on, can't really beat that. That's pretty awesome. Um, I can't wait to see the ones you guys make. I think I'm going to actually, I showed you guys that round tray that I have that I, you know, put silicone on it. I think I might do one that's got a black base and then add some like some gold and white veining to it. I don't know. Um, I have still like one, two, three, four trays <laughs> that I can do. And I actually have, ignore this thing, not that. I actually have this. And I thought about also doing something like that with this and using it for God knows, who knows what, but something in the house or at work. I don't know. But otherwise I have all of my, when I have my extra epoxy, I make little molds and Olivia plays with them. So um, yeah, maybe something with that. We shall see. Who knows what tomorrow will bring? Because I've got quite a few other things still to go and do. And um, someone even suggested maybe doing something with another canvas piece. 
and doing a um, an acrylic pour instead of doing it the way I did it with the fanning it out, but just pouring it straight on, letting it run over. I don't know. Maybe we'll do something like that tomorrow. Not sure. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up or a like and to subscribe to our channel, Tumblr TV, and also hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. Um, I'm gonna try to get another video up tomorrow and we will see how that goes. But I mean, I'm gonna try. Um, and uh, yeah, oh, also don't forget to find us on Facebook. We have a lot of stuff going on in there. Uh, keep all of you guys really busy in that page. And if you go on glitterchimp.com right now, we actually have a Tumblr um, contest going on. Wherever we get to vote on your tumblers, best tumbler gets 100 free jars of glitter from us. So make sure you go check that out too. Otherwise, you guys have a great night and we will see you guys again soon.